哎、欸，黄姐，好，我们今天我们要来下企业，我们社区检查这边的。我们 Labor inspection in rural China。方面的问题，就是你们这现在大概员工有好多个呢？七八个吧。七八个吧。Assistant Inspector Lin Daoqing is responsible for the 269 registered workers in Hongsha community. Our daily job is to go to the grassroots companies, talk with the employers, publicize labor laws and regulations, get the information from each company, and enter it into or update our networks. On another inspection, Gao Fei is heading to a joint venture. He's responsible for more than 8,000 registered workers in Gaoxin district. This paper products factory is a pillar industry in Chengdu. It has nearly 200 employees. Most of them are migrant workers. Uh,签订劳动合同，呃，签订劳动合同以后，我们的工资支付呢是在按月呃固定的日期呃去发放我们工资，呃，整个的税劳呃税保的购买呢也是按照国家相关的法律呃去进行了呃税保的购买。These are the materials Gaofei uses to educate companies. They include China's laws on social insurance, labor contracts, and labor arbitration. Gao says building trust with the companies is key for smooth inspection. Many work disputes can be prevented or resolved through consultation. In the past, companies had a somewhat uncooperative attitude towards our inspections. They used to think that labor inspectors only came to enforce laws and punish them, rather than provide services to help them. With the implementation of the twin networks management, the image of inspectors has improved, and the companies have started to realize the added value of our services. I don't think our interests contradict the inspectors. The company's sustainable development calls for obeying the country's laws. That's also in our own interest. Back in the office, Gao and his colleagues update the information for the twin networks. Under the system, cities, towns and rural areas are divided into grids and labor inspectors are assigned to each one. The information gathered on each company's employment practices is entered into the database. It's cross-referenced with information on social security contributions and any previous labor law violations or any apparent risks to prioritize future inspections. For example, Chengdu's labor inspectorates are responsible for over 700 grids of administrative districts with some 15 million permanent residents and the mobile workforce. With China's social and economic development, labor inspection continues to be an active agent to respond to the emerging challenges. The mobile workforce requires our inspections on a regular basis to ensure compliance with the laws and to achieve decent work for all. At the headquarters in Chengdu, Du Xiyuan shows us another function of the networks. At the complaint office, migrant worker Xiong Dalin is filing his case. This is not a 
Xiong's complaint can now be checked on the system. China's law gives all citizens the right to report any violation of labor and social security laws. From 2011 to 2015, we have made the twin networks management a significant strategic task of the labor and social security inspection. As a result of supervision mode innovation based on scientific information management, is to transform a passive and responsive law enforcement mode into an active and preventive one. Efforts are being made to explore the expansion of the supervisory scope from the urban areas to include rural areas. Currently, such inspections have been launched in major cities. They will be gradually implemented in the entire country. The main challenge, I believe, is for the labor inspectorate to play its role in creating a just and fair labor market situation at a time when China is going through vast social and economic changes. It is a huge challenge, but I think that this twin networks approach that's being piloted in 60 different cities around the country can be a major contribution to this. By bringing together information, targeting inspections where they're most needed, and spreading information to employers and workers about what rights at work really mean. What are the rights given under the employment promotion law? What are the rights in the labor contract law? What are the rights to social insurance? And helping enterprises come into compliance, I think this, this, is, this will be a tremendous achievement in creating decent work in China. Gaofei is busier than ever. As one of the only 200 inspectors now in the city, he sees a difficult road ahead. Assistant Inspector Lin Daoqing is a woman in a mission. She knows there will still be a long way to go before all workers get the same rights and the same laws. And she wants to help make it happen. <laughs>